Good morning, boys and girls, and hello to any parents and carers out there that are watching. Happy Friday. We've made it to the end of the week, and what a week it's been. It's been our children's mental health week. Now, I've been really lucky because I've been going on to the Seesaw accounts and I've been going on to the Google Classroom and I've had a look at the different ways in, your, in which your teacher has been promoting positive well-being and helping you develop skills and strategies. I really hope that you've enjoyed this week, but more importantly, I hope that you've learned some skills and strategies that you're going to be able to apply in your own life now, but also moving forward. We're going to start today with a short video on mental well-being, and that's some ideas for how you can manage your own mental well-being and what mental health actually means. What is it all about? Let's have a little listen. This film is about mental health, talking about it and listening to others. Mental health is about our feelings, our thinking, our emotions and our moods. Everybody knows how to look after physical health. But looking after our mental health is just as important because you can't see it, you need to talk about it. Good morning, Afia. Good morning, Miss. Good morning, Kai. Good morning, Miss. Good morning, Jack. Good morning, Miss. Good morning, Alex. Good morning, Miss. Good morning, Sid. Good morning, Miss. Good morning, Sophie. Good morning, Miss. Good morning, Jay. Good morning, Miss. This film is all about Jay and us. We're her friends. We're all yeah. 10 or 11 years old, all in the same school live in the same area, but we're all very different to each other. We all have different feelings every day. They come and go. We can feel excited, silly, angry, nervous, grumpy, confused, lonely, happy, confident. These are small feelings that we all have every day. What can we do when small feelings are bothering us? I like... KFC or I like going in the bath. <laughs> <laughs> I will probably write it down. You'll feel it's out of you and on the paper. I usually read a book so I can just escape into the book and then my worries are behind me. When I feel stressed I usually just turn a shower and sing a shower. <laughs> just like sit down and play on my favourite video game really. You could count until you don't feel stressed. Sometimes we can have big feelings and they don't go away. Big feelings can affect our mental health. Big feelings can stop us getting on with our lives. They can change how well we feel, how we behave, how we see the world and how we get on with other people. Some of Jay's feelings stayed too long and they got too big for her to manage on her own. What's wrong with Jay? She's usually mature and good at getting her work done. How are big feelings affecting Jay? Am I in a jungle? Am I in the sea? My head is going crazy. Will you come and save me? My tummy hurts. I can't get to sleep at night. I can't concentrate at school. It feels like I have a volcano inside of me getting hotter and hotter. Sometimes it might help to talk to someone about our feelings, but it can be hard to find the right person. Do you think your mum might know something's wrong? My mum has her own problems. She's not very well. I've been looking after her. What about telling Miss Evelyn? She's always busy. What about your sister? I wanted to talk to her, but how could I say it? Sometimes it can be difficult to know what to say. Can I talk to you? I've been having a really hard time lately. Please help me, I'm really struggling. If someone wants to tell you something, how could you be a good listener? If you're listening to someone, you can lean forward or sit side by side. Make them feel comfortable. Always listen to them. Give them your time and attention. If you're a friend, you might not know what you could do but you can help the person find an adult who can help. Let's see how Jay got on. Hi, I'm Jack. I don't go to school with Jay, but I go to swimming with Jay. It was me she decided to talk to, and I was worried about her. 
I told the culture because I, I thought she know the best thing to do. I can see now that my problems are too big for me to deal with on my own. Other people have ideas and experience. There are lots of choices. I just had to think it through. Talking to someone didn't magic all the bad things away, but it did start to help me to change things, and it was good not to feel I was on my own. I'm 11 years old, and I realised if I wanted things to get better, I just needed a bit of help. If your feelings are getting too big to cope with on your own, talking to someone you trust might really help. I have to say, I thought that was a super video. I hope you enjoyed it, boys and girls, and I hope it taught you something. Now, I've been really lucky this week because I've got to see a little bit more of you. And that's as I've been going through our videos um, about our four capacities. And I've been lucky enough to see that some of you have been reflecting on what, it, what you do to become a successful learner, a confident individual, a responsible citizen, and an effective contributor. Now, through that, we spoke a lot about mental health. Um, we spoke about gratitude, and I spoke about being kind to one another, something which is just super important. Looking after your mental well-being, boys and girls, should always be a priority. We also want you to be supporting your own mental well-being. Remember when I've been speaking about that kindness, it's about being kind to yourself, but also about being kind to others. Now, as I said, we should always be looking to promote these things, but particularly just now, boys and girls, when we're living in a pandemic, it's almost been a year since we first started our first lockdown. And since then, we've continued to have things in our life which are a little bit different, different restrictions that mean life isn't quite what it used to be. Of course, there's still lots of positive things out there. But that's why we have made a, a, an even bigger deal of children's mental health this week, um, is because it's something that we think is so important and something that we hope that all of you are able to learn something from. Now, the theme of the Children's Mental Health Week this year was to express yourself. Now, there's lots of different ways that you can express yourself and there's lots of different ways, boys and girls, that I know that you do express yourself. So now I've got some videos from, from some familiar faces, some all of our staff at Walker Road School, who are going to share the ways that they express themselves that helps better their mental well-being and also some other strategies that you might find useful. I hope you enjoy watching this and get something from it. Let's see who we've got. Hi boys and girls, it's Mr Donald here. So my tip for helping with your mental health during sad, lonely or even happy times is always to turn to music. Music is something I absolutely love and that was something that's always been a passion of mine since I was a child. Um, in times when I was happy or when I was feeling sad or a bit lonely, I would always turn to music. I love playing on my lovely piano over there. It really makes me feel happy um, and I get lots of satisfaction um, playing different types of music. So here's a little example for everybody at Walker Road. <laughs>
some ways that I support my mental well-being are by catching up with friends and family, reading a really good book and going for a nice big walk with my dog Louie. Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs Riddle. Um, so this week's Mental Health Week, so I thought I would share something that I, it's like a skill that I use um, when I'm feeling a little bit anxious or maybe a little bit sad or stressed or just generally having a bad day. Um, I do something called crochet. I'm not sure if anybody's done that. It's quite a popular thing to do. Um, and it's something that's really simple. All you need is some hooks and some wool. Now with a crochet, it really focuses my mind. Sometimes when you're stressed and you've got lots of things going on in your head. And with the crochet, it helps me just to try and focus. And I feel more in control of my emotions um, when I'm focusing on something. So the crochet, when I'm making it, I'm making a little hat just now, but I've made a little scarf. I've made a little outfit for a mouse. I've made matching things for my stepdaughter and her doll. So it really, I really enjoy it just because in this moment in time when I'm crocheting, I don't need to think about anything else. My stresses and my worries go away and I feel more independent and I feel a lot more stronger. So maybe boys and girls, one of you guys could pick up this skill or ask a parent and maybe they do already and it could help you. Okay, bye. Johnson here and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the things I do to express myself and to make myself feel good if I'm having a low day to protect my mental health. I like to express myself by wearing clothes that are colourful and make me happy. I also like to wear clothes that are comfortable and cosy just like this huge fluffy hoodie and it makes me really happy when I'm wearing it. When I'm having a bad day I like to escape so I can pick up an old book that I love or play some games and that really cheers me up. Looking after our mental health is really important, especially right now. So it is key that we take a moment each day to check in with ourselves and how we are feeling. I hope you all had a good mental health week and are looking after yourselves. Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. As some of you already know, I love to do art and this is what keeps me going especially when I'm really bored and most of you can probably relate to it just now when we can't see our friends and family. So when I'm not feeling that great or have a spare time, which is a lot of it at the moment, especially at the weekends, this is what I get up to and it really makes me feel better. Take care. Hello everybody. This week has been Children's Mental Health Week and I hope you've had the opportunity to have a think about how you're feeling and what helps you if you're feeling a little bit sad or a little bit low. What I do when I'm feeling a little bit sad is I speak to those who I feel most comfortable with and that is my friends and my family. I hope you feel like you can speak to those who you care about the most when you're feeling a little bit low. And remember that you can always speak to us at school as well. Sometimes there's days where I don't feel like I need to speak to anybody, but if I'm feeling a little bit sad, I take myself out for a walk. And that fresh air and that time to myself is sometimes all I need to pick myself back up again. You might also choose to go out for a walk with a friend or a family member. And sometimes just having a wee chat is all you need to make you feel better. I'm a big believer in talking. I always think it helps you sort through how you're feeling and sometimes friends and family members can help you come up with solutions about how to make yourself feel better as well. I hope you're all taking care of yourselves and I hope to see you soon.
Bye. Hi boys and girls. One way that I like to express myself is through doing crafty projects like this I'm working on. It helps me to focus my mind and I just love having a project to complete at the end of a day. Hi boys and girls. One way that I like to express myself is through doing crafty projects like this I'm working on. It helps me to focus my mind and I just love having a project to complete at the end of a day. Hi boys and girls, I hope you're well and have taken part in the activities that your teachers have set for Mental Health Week. I hope they have helped you talk about your feelings and just think about what is going to help you when you're maybe feeling a little bit down or a little bit angry. So the things that I like to do or speak to somebody. I normally will phone my mum if I'm needing a bit of advice, if something's bothering me, she's always there to listen. I might read a book, um, especially something that helps me to switch off and just completely forget about my worry. Um, it really helps me, just takes me to another world. And the last thing I will do is go out for a walk, especially when it's nicer weather. Going outside, getting fresh air, change of scenery, always helps me and I feel so much better when I come back. I hope those will help you and that you um, all have a great weekend. Bye! Oh, hello boys and girls! One of the other ways I keep myself happy is by doing regular exercise. Did you know that when you exercise, a chemical called endorphins are released into your bloodstream and it actually makes you feel happier. So I try to exercise at least every day, but it's not one of these classes that's going out for a walk. Better get back to it before I cool down. Bye! Hello. What makes me happy is painting some stones. I found some at the beach, I brought them back, and now I'm giving them a paint. I'm going to draw some pictures on with my pens and after I'm finished I'm going to take them into nursery to show the boys and girls. Bye bye! Hi boys and girls! There's a few things that I do to make myself feel good and number one is wear lots of comfy cosy clothes. Number two wear fluffy cosy socks Number three, fill up a cosy water bottle. And number four, wrap up in a cosy blanket and sit on the sofa. Hello everyone. One of the ways I try to stay happy is by talking to my many, many cats. This is Minnie. She is our oldest cat and she is coming up for nine years old. We call this beautiful ginger cat Marmalade, or Marmy for short. He's probably my favourite cat, just don't tell the others. This is Mac, he is very friendly, but he does like to drool over you when you're petting him. Here's a picture of Mo. She likes to lie in front of the warm fire on a cold winter's day. This is Hope. Her favourite place is on this tartan cushion. No, this isn't another picture of Hope. This is a photograph of our other grey cat, Macy. Finally, this is the baby of all our cats. This is Wassie. He'll be one at Easter. So after a long day in school, I like to come home and talk to my cats. Sometimes they even help me with my classwork. This is Marmy helping me last lockdown. I think he'd make a good teacher. What do you think? Bye bye for now. Hope to see you very soon. Mrs Gordon likes to go for walks and listen to her music. She turned 30 over lockdown and kindly shared her cake with her friends and it made her feel better and her friends too. So boys and girls, I hope that you all found something there that you can take away to support your mental well-being. Um, I've got here in the background someone that helps me and B helps me feel good. She doesn't look like she's feeling very good just now. B, there she is. 
Um, she helps me feel good all the time. And I think it is really important that we look after our mental well-being, whether we're feeling happy, sad, however we're feeling. Um, and that's how we can hopefully have um, positive mental well-being more often. So for me, it's really important that I exercise regularly and Bee's a big part of that as well. She's possibly looking to get out <laughs> for a walk um, because that's what keeps her happy as well and it keeps me happy. Even when I don't want to go for a walk, I have to force myself to get out the house and I always feel better afterwards. I also sometimes take part in physical exercise classes. I love going to the gym, but I can't do that at the moment. So I'm trying my best to do ones online. I've got to be honest, I don't enjoy them in the same way, but that, so that's why I'm walking a bit more. I've recently started trying to walk to work a few days a week and that's a couple of miles. So I feel very proud when I've done that. I'm also a big talker, which most of you should know. Um, and I love to talk about how I'm feeling, whether it's happy, sad, angry, whatever the emotion. Sometimes I don't always like to talk. So I try and find other ways to express myself. I think you all know that by now that I love to sing. And that's something that I love to do, whether it's in the shower, whether it's um, when I turn up my music and listen to something and I sing along to it, or whether I'm in the car going for a drive. So I think that's the main ones for me. What do you do? Can you share that with your family today? Could you tell a friend what you do to talk to help with your mental well-being? It's important that we do talk about our mental health, boys and girls. And then we can be there for each other maybe more often. That's it for me this week, boys and girls. I will see you again next week, I'm sure. Um, and then it'll be midterm, so we'll have a break from online learning or a break from coming into the hubs. And then hopefully, fingers crossed, on the 22nd of February, we'll hopefully have um, our preschoolers and our primary ones, twos and threes back in school. So I've got everything crossed for that, boys and girls. Fingers crossed. Okay, but for just now, keep at the social distancing, keep following the rules. Um, and stay safe, be kind and stay strong. Bye.